All right, welcome back, kindergarten and first grade. This is part two of our monster texture drawings. So today we're gonna to be talking about texture. Texture is how things feel when you touch them. And texture is also how things look on a painting or a drawing there's such thing as visual texture. You can look at a painting or a drawing, and you can tell by what the artist chose to do that there's some kind of texture being shown or displayed. For example, if you draw a picture of a dog, then you have to be really careful to draw hair in a realistic way because hair is an important texture that covers a dog. Likewise, what we're going to do is we're going to create a visual texture by using patterns. Now, patterns are simply repeating sets of things. For example, you could use lines to just cover all of this uh, monster with hair. You could choose to go all one direction, and it would look like the monster is covered in hair. And so I have uh, many samples for you of different patterns and textures that you can use within your monster to make it look how you want. Now, uh, the minimum requirement is one texture to fill all the area in around in the body of your monster. But first grade, I want to see at least three different textures. And so what that means is you could choose different areas of your monster that are gonna be different textures. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is, besides these textures that are showing on the video, I'll have other textures uh, posted uh, on the lesson so you can look at them and use them as you wish. So, I'm gonna use three textures, just like uh, I talked about that I want first graders to do. So. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to draw repeating curved lines. And I'm going to space them out about the same so that they look like it's imitating that these horns are round. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way up like that. And now I'm going to draw half of a line on every other one imitating a pattern with my lines. Back and forth. Okay, all the way up. Okay, I'm gonna speed up the video. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Okay, and we're done with that. So that was texture number one. Just by using lines in a repeating fashion, I can create a texture that looks like a horn that is round. Okay, now, texture number two. I am going to make this area around the eyes and the nose my second texture. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use lines again and they're going to be diagonal lines. And as I get to the middle, I'm gonna change the direction to a diagonal going back this direction. And that's it, a very simple pattern using lines but it adds a little bit of texture in there makes it look different okay last texture i am going to let's see here i'm going to change it up i'm not going to just use lines i'm going to use spirals for this one and what i'm going to do is like this but then i'll start a new spiral directly next to it. 
and a new spiral directly next to that. And fill up the page with spirals that connect to each other. Now, they don't have to all go the same direction, but you just want to make sure that you put them directly next to each other to create your pattern here. that's it. I filled the monster with all these spirals and so now it has a very distinct texture. And so at the end what you can do, it's up to you, you can make the decision to use a marker and copy all over top of some of your details and make it all the same color or you can color in over top of it. I'm probably going to take my sharpie and sharpie all of my lines, then color on top. Just know that if you use something like a marker that has a very thick tip, you might not be able to get little tiny detail like this or little tiny lines like this. So maybe you wanna make your pattern bigger and the lines farther apart. For example, if I show you this, that's pretty tough to get the lines perfectly in there. So just make sure that you leave enough space in between your lines or your shapes in your pattern so that you can use a Sharpie if you want to or a black marker. All right, students, we're gonna end it right there. I hope you have fun with this. Yet again, it's all about creating texture. And to really do that, you have to repeat the same set of lines over and over and over again so you get that texture to really look like that. All right, so I'm gonna Go ahead and finish this. I'll post some pictures and I hope you really have fun with this and have a great time.